In this video, we're going to compare the Osmo Pocket Stabilization versus the Hero 7 Black versus the Insta 61 x We're going to find out which camera has the best stabilization. To test your stabilization as consistently as possible, we're going to do the treadmill test. Uh, 2 MPH. Three MPH. Four MPH. Five MPH. Six MPH. One FPH. Two MPH. Three MPH. Four MPH. Five. Five MPH. Six MPH. Seven MPH. Next test is rolling. So pretty good. I can see it's on the screen is pretty late, stable. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna change the settings with the Osmo Pocket, see if it improves. Okay, so now I'm using Tilt Lock with fast uh, setting. So here, rolling. And, uh, okay. 
So which camera has the best stabilization? Well, I took a look at the footage and here's what I found. Before we say which has the best stabilization, let's take a look at what that means, what stabilization means. If we're talking only about pitch, yaw, and roll, then the best stabilization is the Osmo Pocket. It's clearly better than the Hero 7, definitely more stable. As for the Insta 60 One X, the One X was very stable as well, but you could see a little bit of blur as the camera was moving and the EIS was compensating for it. Whereas with the Osmo Pocket, physically the, the, the lens wasn't moving uh, thanks to the gimbal, so there wasn't much motion blur. That's why the Osmo Pocket had the best stabilization. But we also have to consider the range of motion. By range of motion, I mean the amount of movement that you can make before the stabilization fails. Now, the Osmo Pocket had great stabilization but has a narrow range of motion. With the Osmo Pocket, if you aim it too far to the left or to the right, it starts aiming incorrectly and you have to recenter it. Now, the Hero 7 also has a limited range of motion. But with the Hero 7, it doesn't act weird if you exceed the range of motion. You don't have to like recenter it or anything like that. As for the One X, well, that's its strength. It has unlimited range of motion and it will keep it stable no matter where you point it. In fact, I used the One X when I went bungee jumping and it was epic. Check out the video. So where does that leave us? Well, if you're going to take a video of something or someone and you have a clear idea of what you're going to shoot, then the Osmo Pocket is going to provide the best stabilization for you. I've been using the Osmo Pocket a lot for vlogging, like in talking videos like this, because I know what I'm shooting. I also like using the Osmo Pocket for B-rolls. When you combine the gimbal with the slow motion mode at 120 FPS, it looks really nice. It's almost like a slider. For rugged environments, on the other hand, I'm going to use the Hero 7 Black. It's waterproof without the case and it's, I've actually dropped mine a few times and it's been fine. Now that leads me to the Insta 61 X. It's the camera that I would use if I want to get cinematic shots. You can get some really cool shots because it's almost like having a crane or jib in your pocket. It's also the camera that I would use when I want to get shots of me with my family. Want to see how well a 3 camera works for family vacations? Watch this video. Now if you've never shot with a 360 camera before, don't worry, it's a lot easier than it looks. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to use a 360 camera. Don't miss it. Thanks and I'll see you in 360.